Welcome home, Jin. Hey, Akos. I hear the Aegis awakened. Nasty shock for you? Or was it? Of course, my script showed how everything would play out from the start. Sure, you say that once it's all over and done with. It's easy to act smug when hindsight's on your side. Shut your mouth, Abrona. I'm shaking to my core. Where are the other two? Mikhail's inspecting the Ardanian factory. And my beloved sister is out hunting, as always. I'm sure she'll have found plenty of drivers to chew up and spit out by now. She likes to hunt, all right. Not sure we can use all of those core crystals, though. Do we know where the Aegis is right now? Have no fear, Jin. Of course we know her whereabouts. Abrona? Yeah, yeah! Hmm. It seems they're currently traveling away from the urban area of Gormot. Leaving the town? But there's nothing out that way. Perhaps they're on their way out of Gormod itself. Oh, and... What? It seems a certain shipment has set out. The core crystals heading to Indol for cleansing, huh? How pious of them. Shall we handle them? I can deal with that myself. You concentrate on the Aegis. Understood. Well, I am looking forward to clapping eyes on the Aegis. By the way, what of Nia? You know where she is? Yes. Look, this dot here. Without a doubt, this is Dromark's wavelength. It seems they're traveling together with the Aegis. With the Aegis? Huh. Do as you see fit. Understood. You don't need to ask me twice. Right then. We're gonna take the Monoceros. Hmm. As you wish. Hey. Don't do anything too reckless. What is that? A Cloud Sea Compass. A must-have for salvages. It's sort of a map of the Cloud Sea. If you do this, and this... What's the date today? Um... A math October 5th, 4058. Okay. So now we put the date in. See? Oh, this is very clever. Looks like Gormot is the closest country to the World Tree right now. All we need is a ship. The army has every ship in town in its grip. <sighs> We're kind of stuck. Seems that way. Sorry, I'm no use now. I know, I know. But I'm all out of ideas. Rex Rex needs ship? <gasps> Tora, I have good idea! You do? There is shipbuilder living at Gormot Titan's Bum Bum. Old friend of Tora's Grampy Pon, he called Umon. Maybe he help if we tell him what's what. Sure, it's worth a shot. Let's get going.
will we find? See, Gramps? I'm getting better. More, more strong now! I'm stronger than this, you know. Much, much stronger. is ruffled. Engage comb protocol. Mm, meh, meh. Mm, Tora dreamed about tasty sausage the size of puppy. Just so. Do it like I showed you and we'll be okay. Keep on. All right already. Ha! 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 Everyone's getting I wish Nia was as ladylike as you, Isla. Well, I wish I was as much of a warrior as Nia. I'm being a lady, all right? A warrior lady. It 
Tag beim Plan. Hey, oh, no God. Oh, tschüss. Tora made things a little easier for you. Poppy failed her mission. You're all mine. We're back here. This is where my whole adventure with Rex really began. Oh, right. This must be the spot where you and Rex washed up. Though we only made it here thanks to Gramps' efforts. And those efforts are the reason I'm like this now. Well, if you stayed that big, you couldn't exactly travel with us. I'd say you're just right. If I was my old self, I'd be able to carry you anywhere. Well, anywhere within reason. The world tree would be pushing it. Amazing! So how long did it take you to get to our gentleman from here? At the current separation, let's see... About ten days' travel. That long? You do it faster than that or you taste the whip, is what I'm hearing. Of course, that's not what I mean. But that's like three or four days by boat. My apologies. I'm not as young as I used to be. What is point of worrying now Gramp's not big anymore? True enough. That old body is a thing of the past. Well, I think you are adorable like this. I like it. Well, that's very kind of you, Pyra. Are you blushing, oldster? Oh, tell me, Rex, do you ever wish I was in my old form? I think you're better like this. Oh, you prefer me this way? It's cool to have you riding on my back for a change. Just hearing you encourage me from behind really sets my heart at ease. And when you were big, we couldn't just, you know, hang out or walk together. I like being able to stay close. I see, I see. You look rather pleased, Deserta. If I were to be honest, Rex's helmet is a little cramped. Not to mention the jolting and bumping and bouncing around. It's enough to make me lose my lunch at times. But hearing Rex say that, for the first time, it made me think that perhaps this was actually a good thing. I'm sorry about the jolting. Looks like I've got to get used to this situation too. That's all right, Rex. I'll keep the words of encouragement coming. I shall endeavor to become ever more reliable. Um, actually, if you're planning on nagging me constantly, maybe I'll pass. Yeah. I wouldn't want to have Dromax nagging voice in my ear all the time, either. Cheeky sods. Come out, come out.
Come out, come out. Come out, come out. So, shall we? I swear. Be wary not to push yourself too hard. Congratulations. What have we here? Flora heals an aching soul.
treasure acquired. No! It lost the upper hand! Come out, come out. What have we here? Let us go. So, shall we?
sérieux. Let us go. Let us go.
Treasure acquired.
will we find? Okay, bring it on. Enjoy you for a bit. Arrived. <laughs> All in one piece. Bring us back some local snacks, you hear? Shouldn't be too long. Yup. Onwards. I'm back. Miss me. Ha. No! We lost the upper hand. Keep eye on ha! Yeah! Ha! Yeah! Ha! 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 
Who is noisy while I do my work? Tora, this big surprise. Long time no see, Uncle Pon. Yes, long time. About one whole year? Yes, about that. 
You became very big in one year, Tora. Yes, Tora not little pon anymore. And Tora have lots of sidekicks. Rex Rex and friends are not Tora's sidekicks. They are real friends, Umon. Rex Rex meet Uncle Pon Umon. He did great research with Grampy Pon. He is great builder of ships. Hello. Greetings. At your service. I see. Tora's friends. Tora has lots of friends. Very good. Tora has become fine, Biggie Pon. <laughs> well, Tora, did you need Uman's help for something? Well, we wanted to borrow a ship from Uncle Pon Uman. A ship? But there are lots of ships in Toragoth. Why hike all the way to Bum Bum to see me? Oh, um, well. Tora run out of gold, hmm? Uh, yes. Tora spend all the gold on artificial blade. Tora flat broke, like penniless pancake. <laughs> I wanted to go on a little boaty jaunt to a uh, nearby place, but no money to go on boat. Hmm. I hope Tora can keep track of all these fibs he's telling. There's no other option. We can hardly tell him what happened in Toragoth, can we? Yeah, I guess you're right. So long as we get a boat out of this. Artificial blade, eh? Was this what Tora's Grampy Pon was working on? My name is Poppy. Pleased to meet Uncle Pon. Yes, this it! This pretty mighty! Tora take off to Grampy Pon indeed! Oh, well, uh, how can I refuse Tora now? Tora may use Uman's ship, but there is problem. W what is problem? You see, a ship not quite ready just yet. Not much left to do, but work stop because no building parts. That's the only problem. Correct! But that is big problem. Big like sea or mountain. You mean, all you need is some parts, then you can finish the ship? It just as you say, friend. So if we go and find the parts, then you'll... Of course! I make ship ready, then you borrow! Thank you! Come on, everyone. Let's go! Let's go find ship ingredients.
It must have sensed our skill. Ow! Ah! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Here you are. Activate. Sure, why not? Thanks for the support. Yeah! Exactly. Ha! Eagle eye! Oops, that wasn't supposed to happen. Darn, why here? T Tora made things a little easier for you. Poppy failed her mission.
Come out, come out. This can't be good. Look out, everyone! <laughs> Darn! Look after Poppy Why once here? More. I'll bash you up proper next time, I swear. Be wary not to push yourself too hard.